Hi everybody, it's weigh-in day, it's Ducky. Um, got some really good news. Sorry my video is going up later this week. I kind of had a spontaneous moment on Tuesday. My grandpa came down and was like, hey, you want to come up to the ranch? And I was like, hell yeah, you know, it's good exercise, getting out of the house and all of that jazz. And I had so much fun. I rode horses. I, you know, helped till the lawn. It was just a lot of fun to get away from the city I live in, get away from all the drama, go to small town, have fun. Everybody knows you. It was a, it was a lot of fun. And I was there from Tuesday to yesterday. I came home yesterday evening. It was a lot of fun. Um, another thing is on Monday I went to Santa Cruz and the mystery spot in California and I had so much fun. Me and my friend, we walked around all day and I really got a good, I feel workout because I was sweating. I mean, because I don't walk a lot. I, I'm i trying to ease back into exercising because I think if I just try to force myself, go to the gym, you need to work out right now, blah, blah, blah. And it's just going to wear me out too quick. And I want to just kind of ease back into it, get back into a groove of doing something and want build up that drive for wanting to go back to the gym. It's like, okay, I'm not really doing much walking. Okay, let's bump it up. Let's go to the gym. Let's do some elliptical. So that, that's kind of my mind frame by it, behind it. Um, I don't know if in my last video, because I tried watching my last video, and I am so disorganized when I talk, and I feel so bad for people who watch my video. I'm sorry. I'm telling you ahead of time. I'm sorry. But um, last, not last week, but on April 10th, when I posted my video, I don't know if I said how much I weighed. I weighed 225.4, and when I weighed in on Tuesday, which I don't even know what the date was, it was the 17th. Let me write that down. 41712. Um, I weighed, okay, so on the 10th I weighed 225.4, and on Tuesday I weighed 220.5. So that's a loss of 4.1 pounds or something like that, close to there. I'm doing the math in my head, so it could be wrong. <laughs> um, but I was so happy, and I almost slipped up because I was like, ooh, I lost weight. I should have a soda because I had been really good. I didn't have any sodas and I really think that's something I'm doing positive in my life because soda is so bad for you. Like if you just put in like a little baggie like how much sugar is really in that it's disgusting when you look at it. Like it seriously is. And so I just kind of use that as my mentality. Why do I want soda? I'm going to go buy a thing of strawberries and I ate a half, a, thing, a half of that of strawberries and it's completely healthy and I didn't gain any weight after eating that. So it's really balancing that sweet tooth with like maybe natural sweet instead of artificially sweet. So I was really happy about the weight loss. And like I said, I'm just easing in my exercise and things like that because I feel like if I just go, like I said, just wholehearted into everything and just like, I'm going to burn myself out. And I really want this to be a lifelong change because this isn't only just because I want to anymore. Like I said in my last video, it's because I need to. It's going to benefit my health. It's only going to make my knee better. It's only going to help me in the long run. So I'm looking at it from that standpoint. If I want to make something last, I certainly don't want to burn myself on it, out on it right when I first start out. So with that being said, with my three goals that I had, no soda. I still haven't had soda to this day. I'm so happy about that. Exercise three times a week, which I've been doing. I haven't, like I said, I haven't been going to the gym, just been walking around, you know, my block. I usually walk down to like this pizza store I'll grab a water or an iced tea from there no sweetened and then I'll walk back to my house which is it's about a mile so two miles there and back so it's a pretty good walk and it's just getting out of the house and being active little different little changes make such a big difference in your life and I have noticed in my attitude in my demeanor that I'm being much more positive than I was say three or four weeks ago when I was like mm, you know I have all these things wrong with me you know I can change some of that so that's what I'm doing and the only way to do that is be positive and to keep that positive reinforcement going and the not eating after six has been going really well since I haven't been at school it's been super easy I'm not at school so I'm like mm, I don't eat and when I start back school, I only have one day a week for the next 18 weeks to finish out my externship. 
and that'll be pretty simple. I go to school from 4 to 6. I'll just eat before I get there, and then I don't need any more, and I'll have water, like, during class and things like that. So I already have kind of have a plan so I know what to expect, so I'm not, like, I don't show up at school and it's like, oh, I'm hungry. I should go get something out of the vending machine. No, that's not happening anymore. I'm, I'm being a big girl. <laughs> As for my, um, my goals for this week, I still want to keep the soda out because I think it takes about three weeks, three to four weeks before your body fully stops wanting that anymore. I know some people say two weeks, but I love my soda, but I don't want it anymore. So what I'm doing is I just want to keep with that goal because as long as I see it and I write it on my mirror, I don't know if you guys can kind of see my mirror on the wall over there. I write my goals on there. So when I'm getting ready in the morning or whenever I'm getting ready, I see those and it's like, okay, that's a positive reaffirmation that I'm not doing it. I'll even have them like on my phone as a note. I'll put them on here and that way, you know, I'm constantly seeing it. So it's constantly putting me, no soda, no soda, no soda, no soda, no soda, no soda. And it's been really easy. Like my grandpa offered me some while I'm up there because he has the metabolism freaking of a supermodel. It just, he doesn't gain weight at all. I'm jealous. <laughs> I got my mama's jeans. But, um, <laughs> it's just becoming easier and easier to say no. But is, am I completely weaned off it? Heck no, because I still want that temptation. But I know it, it's getting easier. So I'm keeping that as a goal. Um, I want to continue with the exercise three times a week. But I'm also going to add in one week, one exercise a week at the gym doing water, some kind of water activity. I really wanna get involved with that, especially now that it's getting warm. It's freaking hot right now. And I know this video is being really long. And then I wanna continue with the not eating after six. And then I think, I really can't incorporate anything into my, like I said before, into my food because I don't really buy my food. So I have no choice in what gets bought. It's just kind of whatever's cheap. Although, I've been going to the 99 cent store in my town and they've been having fresh fruit and produce. So when I do have like a little money, I'll go there and I bought like a bag of apples and I got five apples for a dollar, which was really cool. I got some oranges and what else did I get? I forget, I got something else too. Oh, I wanna show, well I can't really show you guys cause it's way above. But I got this really cool thing. Um, I don't know how many of you people like miso soup. Costco has this thing right now. It's kind of like artificially made miso soup. And you just put this paste in with six ounces of water. And you put in the little garnishes. I kind of leave the garnishes out because it's just fake tofu. And if I want tofu, I'd rather have real tofu in it than fake tofu. And I just kind of mix the paste in with the water. And it's only 25 calories. That's it. And it's really low on sodium, has two grams of protein, has no sugar, I think two carbs, and it's amazing. Like, I absolutely love it. Um, it's put away right now. I should have showed you guys. But it's amazing. I love it. It's a quick thing. I have it as, like, my afternoon snack. And it's it fills you up. Like, soup really does fill you up. And the thing is, is, like, I add a little more water. Like, I'll add 10 ounces because it's really a strong soup and it waters it down and I'm drinking more water so it's a win-win situation so I'm happy with my loss I'm happy with my goals and I'm going to continue on that I hope you guys are doing great and you guys have a great re weekend if I can talk right all right hopefully you guys I wasn't too disorganized this time I will talk to you guys next week and it will be on Tuesday I promise all right talk to you guys later bye